Hi, it's, um, it's Jazz, who's just come back from a disappointing West Ham United to Leeds United 3 game. And not surprisingly, a lot of my channel friends and guests are all jumping, all dying to get on and give me their views, really. So, West Ham Online, welcome, sir. I believe you were at the game. Take it away, sir. What's in your mind? What do you think? What could have gone wrong? Which, which players are you going to single out for being... You know what we really think of them, really. So yeah, um, get cracking, um, mate. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it reminded me a lot. Um, obviously, the scoreline uh, reiterates this as well. But in terms of how annoying the patterns of the game went, it reminded me a lot of Southampton game in the fact that we came out in the second half, got that equaliser, and on the eye, it might have looked like that we were going to go on to win the game because we were the one pushing, um, and we were the ones basically dominating the ball but as soon as we got that I, I don't know why as soon as we started dominating the ball in their half I knew we was going to concede you can't play we had to because we we needed to apply the pressure then but playing a high line with Dawson and Diop is a nightmare they're bad enough as it is and we just kept getting caught out time after time after time especially when we're playing an attacking midfielder in Lanzini in defensive midfield. I think that experiment's over. I don't think it works at all. Um, I said it before the game, I don't think he's good enough defensively at all to play there, especially in the way that Rice goes forward this season. We just looked so open. Um, through ball after through ball in, in between the midfielders yeah. and the wing-backs and they were just getting in time after time after time. I mean, another point is we actually carved them open just as equally when you look at the stats. And mm. it's what I felt for a long time, West Ham Online, is that to score one goal, we need six, seven clear-cut chances. That's how bad our conversion rate is. And that's why perhaps we what we what we say we need a proper striker, mate. Antonio, with his kind of positioning, not jumping for any headers, frustrating me a lot. So I don't know what you feel about why we... Norwich, another example, mate. Don't know if you were there. We won 2 0. It could have been 1 1. They hit the post, and we got a very late winner. It could, it should have been 5 6, mate, at that game. We are yeah. frustratingly waste so many chances, mate. Yeah, but I think it's an interesting point you make, and it's actually something I want to mention the fact that. In the, in the Palace game, it was the opposite. We didn't have a lot of chances and we won 3-2. Uh, against Norwich and at Leeds, as you just said, we should have converted more. But what's worrying me is every game we're playing seems to be even, if that makes sense. All of the bottom teams we're playing are getting just as many chances as us. And if you want to be in the top six, that's not, that's not on, basically. You don't see that when Arsenal play. Arsenal have more chances than their opposition every single time. They play a non-Big Six team. I but think with so. us, yeah, it's, it's just even. And when it's an even game, you're going to get even. You're going to get results going your way sometimes, and not your way on other times, which is shown by the Watford game, the Palace game, the Southampton game, and the Leeds game. It it just we're flip flopping in these games. It's no accident that we're missing Zuma, and you know when Zuma was playing, we looked a very good line, sniffing out blocking shots keeping very tight to the defenders. And and these days, all the opposition need to do, West Ham Online, is just cross the ball in, lump it in there, and more than not, you're going to get a shot on goal because there's space between the centre-backs, sometimes the full-backs. Kufal today, I saw him a little bit out of position for some of the goals. So then it's not in sync. There's not perhaps a leader at the back. I mean, Dawson, I'm told, is leader material in the dressing room around the club. But... Him and Dupe together, mate. Dupe is another... Oh, I've given up with him, mate. Um, West Ham Online. Dupe is, for me, not good enough, mate. And Masuaku as well, but he was a late sub. So, don't want to be too harsh on Masuaku, but he showed a few of his similar colours, mate. But, yeah, there, there's, there's nothing in nothing really rigid in line organisation at the back, is there, mate? Yeah. No, no. Yeah, I don't want to scapegoat, as you said. Um, Masuaku or Yarmolenko. I didn't even think they are. Yarmolenko was a disaster when he came on, but I don't want to scapegoat either of them. No, no, um, I mean, do you, do yeah. you, do you, do you, yeah, with the defence, yeah. yeah. Issa Diop and Craig Dawson. The main one I want to focus on is, is Issa Diop. He is dreadful. I think he's arguably one of the worst centre backs in the league, and I've said it for over a year. 
I've said I said it since last season. Everyone was telling me I was wrong, um, and I just don't think I was. I think he's he's an absolute accident waiting to happen. His distribution is terrible. He doesn't know what passes to pick. He always looks nervous on the ball. His positioning is absolutely shocking. He's there's nothing good about him. The fact that his best attribute is slide tackling tells you how out of position he always is. Um, and as you say, we look so unorganised with him and Dawson because Dawson's a decent defender, but he's a £3 million player from, from Watford. He's yeah, what we yeah. expect, really. And with him and Diop, it is, it, that, <laughs> this is the, their distribution is just shocking. We just can't get away with having them to at the back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, we'll quickly summarise now. Man of the match for me, I think Rice, again, was awesome. And perhaps I forgot... This point I'm about to bring up now in my personal instant reaction was I thought Velasic was also, mate, in the first half. Brilliant. Kept the ball very strong. Didn't give it away. Was trying to make things happen. And perhaps going off the way he did was a little bit... Wasn't sure about that substitution, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think Velasic was the problem at all. I saw some channels saying that he was... Horrendous, but I, I didn't think no, he was no, the problem. No, no, I thought he was okay. I just thought he was the main a player who we've not spoken about yet. He really impressed me as well as Rice's four nails. I thought it was fantastic today. Okay. Four nails. Um, I, I really don't get why four nails came off. He scored, he was create, he created a chance for Rice if you remember in the first half where he hit the side netting. He he keep he seems to have mastered this reverse pass in between the full backs. And he created two of them for Bowen and Rice today and scored a goal. Second, I, th- I thought he was really, really good. I, c- I really do not get why Four and Hours is the player who came off, if I'm honest. Right, we're going to ask everyone this question just to wrap up. Yeah, first of all, you're your man of the match. Um, I'm, I'm going to go for Four and Hours. I always go for Rice, but I want to go for something a bit different. And I thought he was tremendous. Second question, it just come to mind, we're going to be doing it. Worst man of the match? Diop. Um, Diop, OK. Someone, it, I, I think he was where, I think he was secretly employed by Bielsa. Right. <laughs> Last question, what we know up to this point, where do you think roughly we'll finish end of the season, you feel, the way things are after today's game? Um, I'm going to go for seventh. But I think Wolves look every bit as good as us at the moment, if I'm honest. And they look far more organised than us. So I wouldn't be surprised if we came eighth. Brilliant. Bro, well, thank you for your time. Thank you for your comments. Uh, West Ham line, take care. And we'll, we'll catch up um, shortly on the channel and other show, mate. Take care. Thank you.